Hey y'all, what's up? Welcome back. If you are new to the channel, welcome to the channel. My name is Helen and today we're going to make a quick lunch. I am going to juice. I actually went to Kroger today and found some pears on the, I would say the sale that look rack where they are like going bad. So they back them up in these little red bags. So they're normally a dollar a bag. So I picked up a couple of those. So we're going to keep juice really simple. This week, we're going to do some pear juice. We're going to do watermelon, of course, because it's watermelon season. I'm not sure if I'm going to run outside and grab any mint or not to add to the watermelon, but for sure, we're going to have some watermelon juice. We're also going to make some raw salad wraps. We're going to use the rice wraps and make us some wraps and make them taste really good, delicious. I'm going to try to make them really filling in the larger size wraps instead of having a bunch of small wraps. We're just going to go for the bigger wraps. And I'm trying to make enough for everybody. I'm also going to make a tahini dip that I love to make with coconut aminos. I add a little bit of this, a little bit of that. Zhuzh it up. If you know, then you know. So I can't wait to just, ooh, get into that. I did have some protein pancakes this morning. So I'm, uh, it sustained me basically from this morning until about now. So it's almost 1 o'clock and I'm ready to eat. And I can't wait to delve into it. Now, I did grab some herbs from the garden yesterday i had a huge project i was working on yesterday i filmed some of it i'll go back and try to add more to it so i can upload it and give you an update of what's going on with the garden we had a horrible storm come through again and it tore down quite a bit outside and i had to go and revamp some things okay for it but it's all good i did grab some herbs i put them into the dehydrator the dehydrator i think is linked on my link tree if not i'll link it down below so I'll show you what I use, how I use those herbs as dehydrated. I normally grind them for a season or something like that, but I've been using them in my teas. The kids use them as well. So yeah, show you a quick tea recipe for sure. And then that's about it. So let's go ahead and get started. All right, so we're going to get started on the sauce first. So we can put some in a container and have it for later. Because I'm sure we're going to... Use this sauce. People ask me all the time about these containers. They stack on each other. These just came from Burlington. Just some regular BPA free plastic. It's nothing like fancy at all. So I'm going to get some garlic in here. I don't have any minced garlic, which kind of bites. I probably just need to make some roasted minced garlic, but it's all good. So I kind of just want to mash it in there. Just get a little bit more than that. Yeah, I'm probably going to roast some garlic, make us some minced garlic. But um, I'm definitely in the mood for some wraps, and I would like some hot tea to go with it. So I just figured I'd take y'all along with me today. You can see what the lunch looks like today. If you're not following me on Instagram, come on over and hang out with me. I try to uh, upload. I used to try to upload every day, but I'm uploading quite often. It's just not every day. All right, so there is the garlic. I have two different types of tahini. One I get from Trader Joe's and one I just get from the grocery store. So yeah, I'm just gonna put some in here. Now tahini to me is almost like the texture of peanut butter without the flavor of peanut butter, if that makes any sense. It doesn't taste like peanut butter, but it's almost like peanut butter with no flavor. So I feel like whatever you add to the tahini, makes the flavor like if you want to make hummus or you want to make like the tahini dips like i said with for fruits and vegetables or whatever it's up to you you can make the tahini salt sweet and savory or just you know i don't know savory i'm probably going to use just what's in here i'm just going to pour just a little bit in here not a lot it'll just thin it up a little bit and these are my dates. Now you can actually blend this and use the dates too to sweeten it, but I don't really want to sweeten it too much because I'm using my coconut aminos. And to me, coconut aminos is sweet, but you see how it's thick? So we're gonna have to thin that out for sure. All right, I have two different ones. This one is coconut secret, which is an organic coconut aminos, really good. It's like a soy sauce, but it's not soy. And it's just, you know, using the coconut and you're getting the benefits of the um, aminos from using this. Now, I have this one and then I also have this one that I get from Kroger's. So, 
Either one, they're both really good to me. And you probably already know, I like to add um, the chili flakes, but I'm not gonna add that to this because I'm not the only one who's going to be using this as a dip. Put this up in the fridge until we get done with our wraps. So let's get started with the wraps. So for the raw wraps, I am going to use some of this broccoli slaw. It just pretty much has everything in it, which I absolutely love. I wanted some purple cabbage, but it wasn't on sale. So we're going with what's on sale. We have some uh, butterhead lettuce. I found all this today, y'all, on my clothes out. We also have some carrots that's left in the fridge. So we're gonna to toss these into the wrap and use what we can use up. We also have one bell pepper, one red onion, a few of these cucumbers from the fridge, some sprouts, which is really good for you. Um, alfalfa, broccoli, and kale sprouts. So you know with this, you're getting more nutrients than an actual fully grown broccoli and kale. So that's what we're doing. And then we have some of these holy moly guacamole. So y'all know I put guacamole in all my wraps. So that's what we're doing. Everything is sliced and ready to go. So y'all know I like to eat on a budget. So wherever I find these on sale, I grab them. Sometimes I find them at Ross, Marshalls, TJ Maxx. Like wherever I find them, wherever I find them, I buy them. So. This is the Blue Dragon. We also have another version. I don't see it out here. Let me make sure these aren't cracked. Because sometimes they throw them back in here and they crack them. But they're very thin, like rice sheets. Some use um, three for each person. I'm just dipping them real quick. It's one. I'm going to show you how they're made real quick so you you all can make them yourself. It's kind of layered like this. I don't know if you can see it. Kind of layered like this. And it'll still keep getting soft. Um, you'll see it like still getting soft. So Christopher doesn't want a lot of onions, he says. He just wants a few. He wants everything else. The dip is in that little container in the refrigerator. So I'm just gonna make one that he can come back and make like his own. I just wanna show y'all. Now get a small bowl. All right, so I have some Szechuan, just a little bit. And the slaw for the crunch. And then, of course, they can make their own whenever they want to. If they want more, which I'm sure everybody wants more of these. And here is a quick wrap. Let me show you the inside. Where's your plate? Let me show you the inside. And then I'm just gonna make a couple more of these. That's what it looks like. And then we're gonna do some dip. Give me the, the plate, baby. Give me a spoon. I'm gonna do the dip for him. And then we're gonna make a couple more of these because everybody loves quite a bit of these. So we have three real quick wraps. And this is basically what it looks like. 
I'm gonna make me some as well, and I'll show you what mine look like. All right. All right, so this is pennies. So, and that's what this looks like. Okie dokie. So I'm gonna make mine real quick. And I'll make two for me too. You can layer this however you want. Uh, most people like to layer the lettuce at the bottom because the lettuce normally holds everything in, like your lettuce, your short, your kale. Um, it doesn't really matter to me. I just, <laughs> I'm just going to eat it. So I don't really care how I layer it. As long as everything get wrapped and rolled up in this thing, I'm good. I like a lot of onions. I love the bell peppers. I actually like poblano peppers on here as well. I'm gonna go ahead and put a little bit of the um, put a little bit of sprouts on here because I know it's good for me. I just dropped a bunch of that on the floor, and I'm gonna roll. Wrap and roll. Wrap and roll. That's why it's good to use three. It's good to use three if you can, if you don't mind, because what happens with the third one, it kind of wraps the ends for you. Um, yeah. So here's my one. which is quite messy, but still, oh, I almost put that in the water. I love a good wasabi. I'm gonna go ahead and put the um, tahini, tahini, what is this? The tahini dip in here. I'm gonna put that in there. And then on the side here, I have some ginger. Love this stuff. It's this sliced, um, almost like pickled ginger. Sit it right there on the side of the dip so I can grab a little every time I kind of like bite some into the wrap. And then for a little added kick, some wasabi. Just in case. Just in case I want a little fire. Just a little fire. Yeah. Like I said, if they want more, they'll just make more. But um, these are so good. You're down to your last one? Mm -hmm. All right, so how are they? They're good. They're really good. Really like good? Like the sauce? Yeah, it's more over there if you want more sauce. But, yeah, I love it. I like to put the ginger. You want some ginger? Yeah. You want to try the ginger penny? Mm -hmm. It's some in the refrigerator, girl. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, Lord. You're down to your last one, too. Yes, I guess I'm moving slow. Mm. It was good, honey. Can okay, you dip it? Dip your thing in. And then let me give you some. You can taste it now. You make your whole everything go like, like open up. What it you think? Good. Tastes good. Tastes good. I like wasabi. Yeah. I'm a huge, huge, huge wasabi fan. That was not for me. Wasabi. Mm -hmm. What you put it on? The, the um, beef eggs in it. 
When? Oh, when you yeah. got it? Oh, you say you didn't like it? <laughs> And this is raw, a raw meal. What you think? Mm-hmm. All right, so have one left, but I can't eat anymore. I'm full. They ate all theirs, so of course I had one more than them. And I can't. My eyes are bigger than my stomach, but that was delicious. Healthy, delicious. Now it's time to clean up my mess and get the juice in. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and make us some tea. I did harvest quite a bit of peppermint yesterday as well as lemon balm. And we all know lemon balm's property, honey. That thing will put you to sleep if you have too much. Be careful, make sure you um, do your research on lemon balm as well as peppermint. But I love them both. They're really good flavorful teas for me and they help with me digesting my food. So I like to either drink I really, really used to like to drink coffee after I would eat. And I kind of got in the habit of drinking tea. Lipstick is gone, y'all. Those wraps were good, okay? So I'm going to go ahead and get me something to get my digestive system flowing. So I'm going to do a peppermint tea as well as maybe like lemon, orange slices, and some ginger. I absolutely love dehydrating um, my herbs as well as when I find like sale prices on like fruit or whatever. I've dehydrated mango, um, lemons, limes, you name it. So this is a container that we're actually using right now for our teas. I, as I get a lot of the lemon balm corn and the peppermint, I like to keep cutting it so it can cut and come again. It'll, you, the more you cut it, the more it grows basically. That's all I'm doing is cutting it so it can keep growing. And so I'm just going to go ahead and put this in a jar. Now, in this jar mixture, there is some more other, like, dried fruits at the bottom. If I'm doing a, like, let's just say apple, ginger, lemon type of um, recipe for juice, I will dry the pulp and use it for tea. I love it when you put it in hot water with cement. It tastes so good. So a more citrus type of summer tea. And yeah, go from there. So let's go ahead and get this made so you can see uh, what it looks like. So if you don't have a dehydrator, you can always take your herbs, wrap them up, hang them in a cool, dry space, and they'll dry in a couple of days. This just gives me um, a couple of days that start because it dries in a couple of hours when I use the dehydrator. I'll go ahead and use this cute little pink steeper. I get these from Amazon. They come in a set really cheap. Let's just get started with using, what do we want to use? My hands are clean, by the way. Um, I normally use a spoon, but I'm going to take some of these dried mint leaves, put them in here. You don't need a lot of this. It's actually mint and lemon balm, so you definitely don't need a lot if you're using mint and lemon balm. This is dried ginger. This is what it looks like when it's dried. Yep. If I use ginger in a juice or just use ginger, if I juice ginger, period, I take the ginger pulp and I dry it for the um, teas. I don't know if you can see that. Yep. And it's really good. It just flavors your tea. Right? So we're going to do that. We're going to add, I have orange slices, lemon, more orange. If you want to sweeten up your dry fruit, just dip them in water with a little bit of like a sugar mixture. Trying to get these lemons out. And it's so good when you do that. And I'm just gonna pour the hot water over it. I'm a huge fan of cinnamon and tea, just whatever flavors you want, just go for it. Sometimes I want like an allspice type of tea. It just depends. I'm a huge fan of matcha tea too, so. That's that. What I do is just let it steep. I'm going to add just a little bit of the date syrup from my sweetener instead of like honey. And stir it and let it do its thing. Then I'll come back and sip. 
And instead of buying tea packs, you could just basically make your own tea. Your own flavored tea, especially if you're juicing, you want to be able to save your pulp or something. It's just a really good idea. So that is my tea for the day. That's going to help me digest this food I just ate. And I don't know if you can see at the bottom some of the dried pulp. It's not a lot because we use it. But yeah, this is the tea. And I just try to keep it in a cool, dark space. Just in case you were interested to know, these are my two favorite matchas. I get this one from either Ross, Home Goods, or whatever. I kind of just find it um, often when I'm shopping in stores. You know, I like to go to Home Goods for my nuts and my coffee and sometimes my matcha. And then of course the Rise Matcha. Absolutely love this one. This one is more flavored, like creamier, like already ready to go. This is like your, I wanna say raw matcha, but it also has 100% vegan, functional mushrooms, and rigorously lab tested. It says it's more than just matcha. It has cordyceps for stamina, lion's mane for focus, reshi for stress relief, Matcha for natural energy, shiitake for immune support, turkey tail for healthy digestion, and king trumpet for anti-inflammation, anti right? <laughs> yeah, so anyway, anti-inflammatory. But anyway, these are the two, and I mix them together when I make matcha. And I've been making matcha pretty much every day after my runs in the morning. So yeah. If you shop at Home Goods, you've seen these containers, like jars like these, for like five and six bucks. You can get like one orange, <laughs> one lime, one lemon, and basically make your own jar for pennies on the dollar of your dried fruits. You can also dry these in the oven on a your lowest setting for a few hours. It's quite long on the, in the oven, but yeah, wait till they're hard and then throw them in a jar. <laughs> it is nothing like mint tea. I'm not a huge fan of sweet sweetened tea, so I like the flavors that I get from the orange and the lemon and the mint. And then, of course, you, know, you just do your thing and sweeten it how you want to sweeten it. But these are the bags I got from Kroger, so we're going to bust them open, see what they look like, and then make us some juice real quick. So what I have is the red pears. That's what they are. And... They don't look bad to me at all. Maybe it's just the dates on them. They're still hard. They're still hard. So, yeah, we're definitely going to wash these off. I'm going to use cat seal soap. I don't have any baking soda right now, but it's okay. Oh, these look so good. We are going to get the seeds out of these because just like uh, apples, too many of the seeds is a no-no. So I'm going to take this original hopper top off. I am using the Nama J2 juicer from Nama. I'm going to use the large hopper because we're batching today. And especially because we're going to make the watermelon juice. So we want to make sure we're good to go. Let me make sure I still have this thing on here. I do. We want to make sure we're good to go. All right, let's go ahead and start filling up this hopper. And then I, I'm not going to even, y'all, I'm not going to even peel those. Um, yeah, I'm not. <laughs> I'm going to try to make enough juice and put them in some jars. This is also from Nama. It comes with a strainer, a top, and a, like a scraper. But we don't need any of this because Nama does a really good job of getting rid of the pulp. And like I said, this is the perfect pulp for a tea or if you want to add it to like for smoothies. So, okay. Love this acrylic container. So, let me see what the seeds look like on the inside of here. Yeah. See, these are not soft pears. They look good though. Oh, they look so good. I wonder what this tastes like. Should we taste the pear just to see? Because I have a lot of seeds I'm going to have to pick out. Looks like. All right, so here is our first batch of our pears, and we're going to see how much this juice While that's going, I'm going to go ahead and get the rest of these seeds out. These actually have a quite a bit of seeds for them to be like so small, so yeah. Ooh, that smells so good. 
Yeah, this juice is so thick. <laughs> I'll probably have to drink this with sparkling water, but it smells so freaking good. Like, so good. Even with this. Ooh, it made a lot, actually. Oh my God, that smells so good. I'm actually probably going to, like I said, use this with sparkling water. I actually made more than what I thought. Wow, girl, this smells so good. This is crazy. Let me get one more jar. This particular jar comes from Amazon and these come from Nama, just so you know, because I know someone's going to ask. So I'm going to make sure I give you that information. Ooh -wee. It made quite a bit. So, wow. All right, let's do a taste test. To taste it as it is, and then when time comes, I'll add the sparkling water, like I said. But let's see, friends. Cheers. Oh my god, that is good. Mmm, that is really good. <laughs> this is good. So it's not too sweet. It's not. It's a little tart, a little sweet. But a perfect blend and it's just so smooth it's just like almost reminds me of apple juice when i juice apple juice except this has a little bit more tartness i don't know if this is good so i did a little bit of research on the pears uh when i was picking them up in kroger just to see what the benefits were because you all know i'm really into not only just juicing but knowing what i'm juicing and what the benefit is for my body and so pears i'll put some information on the screen but eating five red pears a week can help, I think it's the 23% to lower the risk of um, type 2 diabetes. So, there you go. All right, so make sure you read upon your fruits and vegetables before you consume them. Make sure it's something that you can consume that your body is able to break down. I know a lot of people ask about juicing. Why juice? Why juice? Why take out the fiber? The thing is, it is a way to get more fruits and vegetables, the, the nutrients into your body just like this, that's what it is. And instead of your body having to chew and break down to get that into your body, some people can't um, digest fibrous foods as much. They're gonna you know, intake a small amount. So this way you can get a little bit larger amounts, better benefits really quickly into your bloodstream, into your body at the cellular level. And yeah, why not? It tastes good. I've juiced watermelon so many times, so you're probably sick of me doing it, but listen, Watermelon is watermelon. It is what it is. We love watermelon here. We like eating it. We like juicing it. All the things. So I'm definitely going to juice some watermelon. Our growers here, which is probably like Myers and other states, have the large watermelons for $5.99, I believe. So yeah, we bought three. And we're about to juice one. And we're going to cut up one for a snack later. You all, before you get a pan, a nice size pan, like an oven cookie sheet pan with the lip on the side, that way the juice doesn't run in everywhere while you're um, cutting up your watermelon. I'm gonna knock my tea over, wait, wait, wait. <laughs> so, uh, let's cut this one open. Fingers crossed that it tastes good. I haven't had a bad one yet, to be honest. All the ones I've actually picked up were sweet. And when we had the graduation party this weekend, everybody was like, how did you pick that watermelon? And I'm like, I don't know. I think it's just the luck of the draw. <laughs> I I don't know. So let's see. And of course, it's seeded. I mean, why wouldn't it be? Yep. This one smells so freaking good. So, oh, this smells good. Here is our seeded watermelon. And as usual, I just use a scooper. Let me show you. I have this scraper set that you get from like Target One Spot. I don't know what these are called, but they like great fruit along the side so i don't need any watermelon it makes it quicker easier for me to juice oh my god this is so it smells so strong like really strong sweet watermelon okay so i'm going to taste the piece and see oh this is good it's so juicy like it's so it smells so, look how red this is. I did really good this time. I have to say so myself. 
I better hurry up because baby, if they smell this, they're gonna try to come eat this one. I hope the other ones are just as good. You know, I'm not washing this machine. I just go from one juice to the other. Okay. Look at all this juice in here. I'm about to see that. It's just so juicy. Fills up so quickly. So the kids go through about a gallon of watermelon juice a week, I would say. And I go through a little bit more. I drink a lot. A lot. <laughs> I love it though. It is what it is. I love that you can throw everything in a hopper, walk away from it. You're not steady like trying to feed your um, hopper or whatever. I love this machine. So I'll take this one with me in the morning for the run I have for tomorrow. Yeah. Man, y'all have no idea. This, this is like the favorite thing in the house for sure. Watermelon juice. All right, so I'm just going to go ahead and fill this up one more time for you all. But uh, for the most part, this all I'm doing is watermelon juice and making a container of watermelon. And yeah. That's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Watermelon is good for hydration. Um, it's straight to the point, basically. It's also flavorful. It tastes good. I like to make watermelon balls. While I take the juice, I put them in a mold, like a ice mold. And I just freeze it and put sparkling water on top. One of my favorite ways to drink it, throw a little spray of um, like peppermint in it. Oh my God, that is so good. And like very refreshing. So if you're you know working in the garden or you're out and about and you, you find yourself kind of thirsty and you can't quench your thirst with water, grab me some watermelon juice and see just how quickly you know you hydrate your body. So yeah, let me go ahead and get this in here. Because we're not wasting any of this. Yeah, we're not going to waste any of this at all. And we have absolutely no reason for the wine. <laughs> yeah. I've juiced it in the past, but yeah, I'm good on that. So although it wasn't a large watermelon, like the ones I normally get from the store, it's quite medium size. I would say the yield was pretty good on this one. The kids will have their um, half a gallon and then, um, like I said, there's two more watermelons on the table. So I'll make another one in the next couple of days. But they go through like a gallon a week and these jars will actually get this to me from Garrett. I want to say they have these on Amazon, the ball jars. So if you want to check them out, make sure you do. But these are definitely on Amazon. This is a Nama jar. And I need one more jar. So let me set this one down here. Here we go. One more jar. I don't know how much it's going to make. I don't feel like it's going to fill it up. So one of these go halfway. But I'll just add it with some ice. And this will be the juice I drank today. I haven't had any juice today. So that's that. Okay, not bad, not bad. I'm going to say these are 32 ounces. So, like I said, I drink quite a bit of juice, especially if I'm running or walking. It's so hot here. It's been like, feel like temperatures like a 110, 112. So, yeah, it's kind of hot here for us. So, I drink as much as I can to stay hydrated. So, I am thinking about doing a three-day um, like fruit or juice fast. So, if you're interested in tagging along with me, let me know. It'll probably be in the coming weeks. I'll let you all know when, maybe mid-June. I still have that flower, that duck flower I need to take. I meant to take half of it when Garrett was here, so it just gets like I sick, okay? But I'm going to do the duck flower detox in June as well. I already have it. It's quite expensive, y'all, and it's very basic. Like, it's very, 
uh, strong and yeah, I don't know. I just feel like I'm going to take it in mid-June. So we'll see how that goes. But anyway, this is the juice that it yielded from that small watermelon. And like, you know, I've had watermelons two times the size of that. So five ninety nine, I can complain for all this juice. All right. That is it for me. I hope you enjoyed this video of the watermelon juice, the pear, which I can't wait to just guzzle. Okay. And then, of course, the wraps. The wraps were so good. Y'all, it was so filling. The one thing about that, once I have a wrap, once I have one of these juices, I may pop some popcorn later. And I just been popping popcorn on the stove. And I add a little bit of Szechuan or maybe even like, I made a mixture. It's like peppers and onions and garlic. I dried them and blended them. I may sprinkle that on top of y'all. I'm, I'm full. I'm full. It's so crazy. Some days I really want to eat and some days I'm like, mm. But when I start off with a protein pancake, that kind of boosts my day. So when it's time for dinner, I'm not so hungry. I don't know. It's just me. But um, yeah, I just love the energy I get from drinking juice. I think it's good for you. The way that you can get so many nutrients and the vitamins right to your body. Girl, without even having to chew. Okay, you can get a lot. When you juice all those fruits and vegetables and pack it in, and then save your pulp, freeze your pulp, add it in a smoothie, add it in, like I say, your teas and all the things. Speaking of, I gotta drink my tea. All right? Y'all just don't know. This is so good. Look at this. Look at this color. This is so good. I will see y'all in the next video. Thanks for hanging out with me today. Hope you're having an amazing day. Yesterday was crazy weather here, and everything, like I told y'all, was just a mess in the backyard so i can't wait to get back in the backyard so we can get to fixing and correcting all the problems out there but i will see y'all hopefully on sunday peace and blessings